everybody. It's Michelle and today we're making another gift in a jar mix. I really love these gift in a jar mixes in the fall. They're great to give as gifts and they're also very good to have on hand if you just want a really quick supper one day without a lot of work. Today we're doing an instant potato soup mix and this is really one of my favorites because it's really easy it goes together very quickly and it's not something that you make the whole jar at once when you have this this makes a, an entire quart jar that you can then use out of for individual servings that you can just make very quickly even in the microwave because all you have to add is hot water I really like the gift in a jar mixes that whenever possible only have to have water added because I think if you're given a gift, then you don't want them to have to add to it. So, this one is one of my very favorites for that reason. Also, it's not a layered mix since we do use out of it individually. We just mix everything together, get everything combined and poured into the jar. And then we'll decorate that up to give. So, the first thing we start with is two cups of our instant mashed potatoes. And that is just like like this here just the instant mashed potatoes that you make but not the kind in the pouch they have more ingredients in them you just want the potato flakes so we have two cups of that and then we're going to add one and a quarter cup of dry milk this is what makes it very easy for us to only have to add water so I found this one at Food City this one was actually the pouches which are about a cup each and I needed a cup and a quarter so I did have to use part of another pouch but if you get the bigger box it's just an entire box full it's not pouches so either way you want to do that but we just add that in we're just going to mix it right in our measuring cup we've got one and one quarter cup of that And then we're going to add our chicken bouillon powder, or if you can find it, the granules. I prefer the granules. Either one is going to work. And we're going to add one and a half tablespoons of that. Next, we're going to add one teaspoon of dried minced onion, half of a teaspoon of dried parsley, one quarter teaspoon of black pepper half a teaspoon of dried chives and the last thing is one and a quarter teaspoon of seasoned salt and again if you all will hang around to the end of the video I will put all of these ingredients on the screen for you so now we just mix that all together. You want to be sure to get it mixed evenly. Just bring in our jar and our funnel. And just pour it all in and we're pouring this into a one quart jar if I forgot to mention now it looks like it doesn't all want to fit but if you just shake that down it'll give you a little more room and it will all fit in there and then we're just going to put on our lid and now is the fun part we get to decorate it Okay, so again, I printed out a little label with the instructions on how to make that for whoever you're giving this to, which is to place two-thirds cup of the mix in a soup bowl and add one cup of boiling water. And you can, you know, bring that water to a bowl separately in the microwave, which makes it super easy. But I just printed this out on cardstock and then cut that out into my square shape. I used my 
corner rounding punch to round out those edges and then I'll just use a glue stick to apply that to another one a little bit larger in the green color as a border and I added a couple of fall leaves this one here I used a scrapbooking punch of a maple leaf and cut that out of a brown paper bag and this green one here was a scrapbooking sticker so you can decorate that up however you want to do it I kind of wanted to go for a little bit of a rustic look and I'm going to be tying that on with some string here it's this natural cord in the Darice brand that I got at Walmart and we're going to be putting a plaid piece of fabric on as a topper and then we're going to use a rubber band to hold that on while we tie on a bow out of this here which is just a bulky yarn and I'll show you all what I use there it's the line brand yarn and this is the super bulky in Los Angeles tan but I wanted to use that because I thought it kinda had a rustic look it kinda looks like rope in a way but it has the softness of the yarn so I thought that would be good again it's whatever you all want to use anything will work okay first we'll put our fabric on here which I just cut out a six inch square with my pink and shears you could cut out a round piece people do that a lot but I kind of like how the corners hang on a square piece when it's put on a round jar and then I'm going to take my rubber band this one was a little too big so I'm going to double it over and put that on and that will allow you to work with it a little bit and get it arranged around there the way you want it and then also I forgot to tell you with my yarn here yarn is very bad to fray at the ends so what I did was I took some of this Aline's flexible stretchable fabric glue and I kind of just saturated the ends with that, let it dry overnight, and then retrimmed it to a clean edge. You all can use probably any kind of glue that you want, just as long as it's going to keep those ends from fraying for you. So we're going to bring that around. We'll tie that on, and that's going to hide our rubber band. I'm just going to leave it loosely right there for a second while we get our tag ready. So for this, also both of these, the string and the yarn, I cut into about a 24 inch length. So I'm going to bring both ends together of my string and put them through the back of my tag and bring that through and put them back through that loop right there and that's gonna be a cute little way to hold our tag on there and now I'm gonna see how far down I want that to hang and I'm gonna come just below here and tie another knot And then just feed one side of that up behind your yarn. And just tie that right around your yarn. Not too tightly because we still have to be able to, to move that yarn through to get it tied. Okay. And now just create a little bow with your yarn.
And then we'll come in and trim up our string. And there you go. That's your potato soup mix, gift in a jar. you know you can cut that in half and make a smaller jar you can double it and you know make a larger jar I once made a, a jar of this in a one gallon size and it went over really well so you all let me know what you think don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel give me a like over on my Facebook page and follow me on Pinterest thanks for watching I'll see you next time